father, um, working at a tortilla place, actually. Um, family loved him to death. We have more family members at that house today than I could count. Um, a ton of brothers and sisters that love him more than life. Um, he was supposed to take his daughter skating in it yeah. for her birthday. It's just, and I'm sick of um, sitting in somebody's house and their little kid is playing with us and we're sitting there trying to laugh with a one-year-old or a two-year-old or an eight-year-old knowing, you know, that they'll never see their their dad again. Man, I'm literally sick of it. She she had on, uh, when we were there today, she had her birthday dress on because she was waiting for her dad to come pick her up to take her to uh, go skating. Yesterday, her and her dad went. She got her nails done, her toes done. Uh, they got something to eat. And today she was waiting on that. So while we were over there, they had a, a birthday party for her. You know, today there was a birthday. Yeah, eighth birthday today with cupcakes while we were sitting there talking to her mom about why her dad's not coming home. Uh, that's the part of it that we see every day that everybody doesn't see. And that's the part that just it hits you, it hits you right here. It's, it's, it's terrible. Because when you think of Walter Scott, you think of five years ago, more than five years ago. That's what they say. 20 years, 20 years. 20 years for killing a man. What do you say about that? I mean, that's, the, that's literally the case that popped in my mind the whole time I was sitting there um, today. And Justin and I talked about it is it's just like Walter Scott. You know, people will forgot about that case because it's been so long and it was so horrific is they said the same thing. Oh, he took my taser and I shot him while we were wrestling for the taser. And then once we got our hands on the video, we saw that he shot him in the back, you know, 30 yards away. Um, and in that case, they tried to the whole taser. Um, he could have killed me with the taser argument and it didn't work. Um, so it, it literally brings back memories of Walter Scott, even watching him get shot in the back, just like Walter Scott. Um, and then it was really horrible hearing the witnesses say that they were picking up shell casings or tampering with the scene, whatever they were doing, because that happened to Walter Scott. The officer went and threw the taser close to the dead body. So it's just horrible to be rel reliving the Walter Scott case again. And, and while Mr. Brooks was not perfect, uh, he didn't, he, I mean, he could have done a couple things too. And, and we're not saying he couldn't have. But the officer had the last best chance to stop that from happening. He had the most training to stop that from happening. And he didn't do that. And that resulted in our client's death. They, no, they're confused because they thought that the conversation appeared civil or decent. Um, they didn't, you know, see him screaming at the cops or doing anything. And then out the blue, they said they just tried to arrest him. And of course, he got upset and pulled away. Like, why? What? Are, you know, what are y'all doing? Um, they're just blown away because they said it like it should not have happened and that there was no reason for him to shoot him while he was running off. Um, this wasn't a violent crime. They had his ID. They knew where he lived. They knew what kind of car he was. They have the car. You know, like, where's he going? But it's just because, you know, the value of life um, is gone somewhere. It's like a video game where you just think you shoot somebody and it's not an actual father or a human being. Um, I'm just starting to lose faith.